We need solar power for our new build. I have used Grid Free before for um, smaller setups, but now we need a beefy kit for the new house. Initially, I was going to go with their um, Lifestyler or Lifestyle kit, which is 12 solar panels and 12 deep cycle batteries. And then I got very excited when I saw that they were now offering lithium batteries because everyone raves about how amazing lithium batteries are but they always just seem too expensive but it looks like pricing is dropping a bit so it's still expensive but a bit more affordable and then I learned that there's this brand new kit that's literally just come out called TUI kit it comes with 12 panels two beefy lithium batteries but I've upgraded to three and there's room for a fourth if I want and the advantage with this is a lot of the wiring's already done, it's all in this box, cabinet, all done for you, which I like the sound of, so it, it skips a few more steps for you. <laughs> the kit arrived on a courier truck, he used his ballot lifter to get all the items off and we stored them in the container for a bit, then we did need another pallet lifter to move it from the container to the house and it, it did take four of us to lift the uh, cabinet into the house. And carrying along with the solar cupboard, I started finally reading the instructions for this beast of a cabinet, only to read that it needed airflow on the right and you need to be able to access the left. You need about a meter on the left, which wasn't gonna work in this cupboard at all. So, my lovely handyman has made a hole into the linen cupboard. So I think that was a good solution. We can now access the side of the unit through the linen cupboard. The only part you access from the side are the lithium batteries. So I don't really see the need to access it much, if at all. And right now I'm just putting down the planks I'm not doing the herringbone design because I wouldn't know where the design would start from here and it's just much easier <laughs> doing the planks this way. Oh well, nice, <laughs> that's really handy. cabinets be moved into position so I just need to be able to open this door when the door frame is on I think that should be fine giving enough airflow on the side and a bit on the back I think I think that's the location so I'll wind down the wheels I've just screwed in the brackets into the cabinet. I do actually wonder why we need to attach it so firmly onto the ground. Would it be for earthquakes or I don't know. Now I can install the lithium batteries. These batteries are so heavy I'm going to need my handyman to help install them. Thank you. 
And here I am putting the black and the red wires on the wrong side. Luckily my electrician spotted that. I emailed this setup to Gridfree just to get them to glance at it and it's been pointed out that I forgot to put this bar here as well. So I have found their communication really quick and friendly, definitely useful when you're not 100% sure what you're doing. My handyman has done an amazing job putting together these, the structure, which is where the solar mounts will sit on. Side note, he didn't pick the wood, I did. <laughs> it has been pointed out that it's probably a bit overkill. Now I'm going through the instructions for the tilt mount. I bought the tilt mount rather than the ground mount because the initial plan was to put it on this, uh, the roof of the, the house. <laughs> We'd even put strengthening, strengthening ply underneath to make sure it's super solid. But the more I thought about it, the more I felt it wasn't for me. Uh, this way I will be able to easily clean them myself. Whereas if they were on the roof, I think I would have uh, procrastinated. <laughs> We've done the first of three solar groups. The main thing I think we learned is you want to put the mount, the two bars, um, at the right angle and height and screw everything so it doesn't move before you install the first solar panel. It kind of says it in instructions, but it's not till we fluffed around that we realized how important that part was. And one tip, I would recommend using this for each panel as you go along before replacing them with the one that joins the two panels together. It just held them together and made it easier. I'm very, very pleased with how that's turned out. It looks fantastic. And glad we didn't try to lift those panels onto the roof. I'm just not strong enough for that at all. And see that shadow? This is pretty much the shortest day of the year. I think it was like just a few days ago. So that's reassuring that these panels will always get light. Got a surprising amount of heat coming off them from this side. I learned pretty quickly that I didn't need to undo the cable ties for most of them. So this one I'll just cable tie up again. And as I was going along I suddenly remembered that there's two groups here, two groups of six panels. So I'll disconnect the middle one that will connect to the long wiring. 
I've just laid out the longer cables that will go from the solar panels to the house. We want to um, have this section underground. Sounds like we need electrical conduits. I've contacted the electrician who's coming tomorrow as well. If he has some, um, he's not sure. And then the next stage is connecting these two things up here, which go into this underneath, which goes into the cabinet. Then the electrician's coming tomorrow. We can shift those around, but my thinking was it would be good to be able to, this is basically the on off for power from the solar panels. It would be good to be able to easily turn that on and off without having to reach over or anything like that. I think that's probably the safest option. I'm just going to drill some holes in these spots and just attach two onto the wall now. like I keep these fuse holders out till the end. I looked in the instructions. This is the 10 millimeter wiring that goes from here into the, the solar unit. So I'm skipping these steps. I'm going to now connect from here into the solar unit. Okay. Will this fit? That's the question. I'm just wondering if the electrician's coming tomorrow, do I get him to do the wiring bits? Yeah. So we have some power right now coming from the solar panels. It was all finished yesterday about 4 p.m. and there wasn't really enough light to get the batteries to a good level where I felt comfortable turning on all, all the appliances. So I was cautious last night and this morning it was rainy and overcast and I was wondering if the batteries would be able to charge it all today but the sun has come out and I'm impatiently waiting. So lots of power coming in from the solar panels and the batteries are 47% at the moment so we're doing good, this is good. So I've been living with the system for a while now and it's amazing, there's so much power. I've basically stopped checking because I've never been close to needing to be concerned. I've just stopped worrying about it. Yeah, I guess now I can start adding more electrical items uh, and just see where is my limit. Could I start using a toaster, a bread maker, a hairdryer, all of the power hungry items? It would be a, a good experiment.